Good morning. New day, same outfit. Uh, same obnoxious pimple growing in the middle of my forehead like a unicorn horn. Um, I wanted to show you something. So, I don't know if you know this about my family, but all of us think that we have some psychic powers. Uh, maybe I'll tell you the story of my psychic ancestor a little bit later in this video. But I wanted, I wanted to let you know that I've had a, I've had like a That's So Raven vision about when it is that I'm gonna start coming out of quarantine. And it has to do with my calendar. Okay, so here we have my calendar. Now my calendar is special to me. I choose it every single year. Uh, I, I like will have multiple pages bookmarked on my browser trying to find just the right calendar. And this year I got a calendar that is themed uh, of the moon. It's a moon themed calendar, right? So here's May. Now, um, next month, June, we have another sort of starry night, uh, theme going on here. But here's why I think it will be July. Because the poetic nature, I think, of this one... Oh, that flash is just terrible. There we go. The poetic nature of leaving my house for the first time in four or five months and having this be the image I, I look at every day when I come home. It just... It feels prophetic to me. Last night after I ran into some people on the porch, I said, That's it. I'm not going out again. I am just going to lock myself in my apartment. There is no need for me to leave. There's like, not only a pandemic, but a very local pandemic in my neighborhood. It's just like not worth it to leave my house at all. But I am unfortunately gonna have to leave again today. Um, trying to install my air conditioner. First of all, uh, first of all, my skin is terrible right now and I don't know what's going on. I skipped my period this month again. So I'm in menopause. I'm fucking, I'm hormonal, I'm moody, I'm trying to install an air conditioner because I am so goddamn hot. It's like 80 degrees outside, I've got no air conditioner. And um, so, like I said, I bought this air conditioner uh, yesterday and trying to install it, I realized that I am lacking a tool. So this is sort of my catch-all tool that I have. It's a pliers. I know names of tools. I used to I used to assemble furniture for a living. So like it's not like I just I don't understand what tools that I need, but like so it's got all those. It's sort of like a Swiss army knife, blah blah blah. But so this is the uh screwdriver that I have and apparently I've never actually had to use it because I I just tried to use it to assemble the air conditioner and it is so shitty. It will not work at all. And like, it's just, it's never occurred to me get, to get a, a real screwdriver. I thought, oh, I have the, I have the Swiss army knife thing. Don't need a screwdriver. But um, apparently I do because I spent like $250 on this air conditioner. I'm not gonna ruin it because I don't have a screwdriver. I'm just gonna get up, go to the hardware store. There is a convenience store very, very nearby, but I think I'm gonna go a little bit outside of my neighborhood in order to get this tool, to be perfectly honest with you. One, I don't know if they have the, they, they have like a screwdriver at the convenience store. Two, there's just, I mean, it's like, there's just so many infected people wandering around my neighborhood. I just don't even wanna go into this store. So I'm gonna go a little bit uh, out of my way to an actual hardware store. All right, I'm back. Mask makes my upper lip so sweaty. Oh yeah. Um, it was kind of cool actually at the hardware store. They have like, um, no one's allowed in the store except the employees. All the employees were wearing masks. And they uh, had an outdoor stand where you just told the employee what you wanted. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I was like, yeah, I need two screwdrivers, the plus sign and the minus sign, because I don't know what they're called. I know flathead, what's the plus sign called? It's not a real question. I can Google that. Well, go ahead and leave me a comment if you want. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. So anyway, this is what I bought. And so let's see if it will focus. What if that's just the only thing you have to look at, camera? No, okay. Oh my God, beauty YouTuber. Okay, so it has that. And then it also fucking turns around and is the flat one too. It's a good deal. I hope that it works. Let's see! Well, it took forever, but 
I did it. I did it. That is an installed air conditioner. Well, I know someone is enjoying the air conditioning. Do you like it? Are you feeling relaxed? Are you feeling relaxed today? Well, it's actually the next morning. Same outfit, different day. And um, I didn't finish my video last night because once the air conditioner started going, I realized how stressed out my body had been just by being hot all the time. Like, I don't do hot. I do not do hot. I can do cold just fine, but hot, absolutely not. And uh, 80 degrees to me is just unbearably hot. Uh, so I, I didn't realize how badly it was affecting me until the air conditioner turned on and then I was, I like, I felt this like full body relaxation that was so delicious that I could do nothing but, uh, just lay around and feel amazing. So I did that. And, um, so, yeah, so that's my video about installing an air conditioner, I guess, uh, Great, great to be with you on this middle-aged morning. All right, well, see you guys later. Bye. Also, I realize now that I never followed up on that story about my psychic ancestor, but maybe later.